everyone. Welcome to Sean Allen Films, the educational series. I'm Sean Allen. Last week, we started a brand new series about the skeletal system. And believe it or not, we started off with the skull. In today's episode, we're going to be learning about teeth. Teeth are so important in our everyday lives. A child may have up to 20 teeth, while an adult may have up to 32 teeth. One of the main purposes of teeth is to tear and grind food. There are certain types of teeth that do specific jobs. They are incisors, canine, premolars, and molars. Incisors are at the front of your mouth. These teeth help cut food apart. Your canine teeth help tear the food once it has been cut by the incisors. Once the food reaches the back of the mouth, the premolars and molars help grind the food so that you can swallow. Certain animals have specific teeth. Let's look at dinosaurs. Herbivores, like the Stegosaurus, have teeth that would normally cut and grind plant food. They don't eat meat. Carnivores, on the other hand, like this Velociraptor, have teeth that are made to cut meat. They rarely eat plants. Omnivores are animals that have teeth that help them eat both plants and meat. We are omnivores because we eat plants and meat. Okay, so now that we have looked at the different types of teeth, let's now actually look at teeth. Believe it or not, the anatomy of teeth is really extraordinary. Here is an image of a tooth. Inside the tooth, we have the root. It's composed of veins and arteries, which helps bring oxygen and nutrients to the teeth. Above the root is the pulp. The area where your teeth meets with your gum is known as the neck of the tooth. The substance surrounding the root is dentine. This is made of a hard bone tissue. The substance on the top of the tooth is called enamel. The area surrounding the teeth is called the gum. It is a good idea that you brush your teeth twice a day, and it's also a good idea to floss your teeth. If you don't, you might develop a disease in your mouth called gingivitis. This is where plaque gets stuck in between your teeth and it builds up over time. This weakens the gums and causes the teeth to become loose. Another problem that can occur is cavities. This is where your teeth slowly decay either by not brushing or eating too much sugar. Do you remember when you lost your very first tooth when you were young? How did it make you feel? Scared? Excited? Clueless? How about this? Did you happen to realize that you had some brand new teeth just waiting to replace your old teeth? When you are young, your teeth are known as baby teeth. When you're about five years old, you start to lose those baby teeth. And at about the age of 13, they should all be gone. After you lose all your baby teeth, your adult or permanent teeth take the place of the baby teeth. These will be your teeth for the rest of your life. All right, you guys, that's about it for teeth. Let's go over a quick review. There are four different types of teeth incisors, canine, premolars, and molars. The surface of the teeth is made up of a substance called enamel. The insides of the teeth are made up of dentine. The red area surrounding the teeth is called gum. Make sure that you brush and floss your teeth twice a day. Well everybody, we have finished part two of- Hey, wait a minute. Ugh, what? I have not made an appearance in today's episode. Oh. Yeah, right, sorry, but we're out of time. Oh. Well, okay then. So, if you don't mind, maybe I could end the show? Uh, okay. Go for it. Okay, thank you. Alright, everyone. We have finished part two of the skeletal system. And I, we all hope you enjoyed today's show. Next week, we will be looking at the verbal column. Until next time, keep on learning. Okay, class dismissed. Oh, be sure to check out Sean's Google Plus page, Twitter, Facebook, and Keek. 
and be sure to subscribe to them, of course. Okay, you're dismissed. Go.